Welcome. All right. Today we're going to talk about the order of operations with Scratch. So let's start with an example. 2 plus 3 times 7. Give this a shot on your own, then check back for the answer. Okay, so if you started by adding 2 plus 3 is 5 times 7, you would get 35 as the answer. However, if you multiply 3 times 7 is 21, and then add 2, then you got 23 as the answer. If you find these two possibilities confusing, then you understand now why we need the order of operations, so that we can definitely have one solution to simple problems like this. In this case, the answer is 23. Over here at Scratch, scratch.mit.edu, we're going to click Create to start a new project. We're going to teach Scratch to use the order of operations to solve simple problems. So let's title this GEMDOS, our acronym for the order of operations. And we're going to want a button instead of the cat. Go here to New Sprite. A button is a thing. And I like this one. Double click and it's mine. I'm going to go to the costume. And just real quick, I'm going to grab the text tool and type solve. How's that? We'll get the arrow and center it in there where we want it. That's it for the costume. I go back to scripts. I'm going to put my solve button down here. Okay. So we want to solve the problem we were just talking about. It's going to begin when we click the sprite. So this time we're going to get this hat, the one that says when this sprite is clicked, which this code is inside our sprite. So when the sprite is clicked, which is what you want with buttons, right? You want to click them. Um, I'm going to open up the I right here just so I can rename this push me it's my button we have the position x and y axis it's pointing to 90 degrees all of that's there all right when the sprite is clicked what's going to happen we need data let's do two variables for the examples that we just talked about so I'll call the first one example a going to be valid for all sprites, although probably there will only be one sprite. I'm going to click make a variable again and call it example B. Okay. Let's test our button by grabbing this set example. And I want to do this little pull down that's right here. I want to change it to set example A and pick some number. Let's pick nine. And I'm going to put that under the hat. So if this is functioning, when this sprite is clicked, it's going to set example A to 9. Let's go ahead and click the button. And sure enough, example A got set to 9. We can try the same thing with set example B. How about if we set example B to 24? And I'm going to come up here and click solve. And it did. Now, we want to make them not just set it to a specific number, but to execute the order of operations. So I'm going to get my operators. And our example is 2 plus 3 times 7. So we're going to need two operations. We're going to need addition and multiplication. And the first time, example A, we want to set it the wrong way. And example B, we want to set it the correct way. So I'm going to do a two finger tap to duplicate this and a two finger tap to duplicate this. On Windows, that would be a right click. On Mac, you can use control or do a two finger tap. Okay, so following the order of operations the wrong way, we're going to add first. So that would be two plus three. And if I click on this, it should solve and show me 
that it's going to be five. Okay, and now I want to put this inside the first part of the multiplication. Can you see how that lights up when I'm in the right place? So I'm going to hover until it lights up and let go, and it'll pop in there. And that's times seven. Now, if I want to grab this, I want to put this where the nine is. I need to grab it by about where the time sign is. If I grab it by the plus, I'll be taking that out. If I grab it by where the time sign is, then I can grab the whole thing. And when the nine is lit up, then I can drop that in there. And the other way would be to do the three times seven first. And we'll put that until it lights up, let it go. And that would be two plus the quantity of three times seven. And we put that there. So now we've done the order of operations two different ways. Let's click solve and see if we get our two different answers. And sure enough, that was successful.